guys, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully we can get through this video without me sneezing or my eyes watering because I have been dealing with allergies since I woke up this morning. I almost thought I wasn't gonna be able to put on makeup because I really wanted to film this for you guys. And before we get into the video, just wanted to let you guys know two things that I'm wearing today that I've really been loving. And the first thing is this mascara from It Cosmetics. This is the Superhero Mascara. It's lengthening, dramatizing, voluminizing, amazing mascara. I love it on my lower lashes. I love it on the upper lashes. I just think it's such a dramatifying lash. It's amazing. And the other thing is the lip color I'm wearing today, which is by Stila. And this is her Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Patina, which is a beautiful dusty mauve rose. I just love it this time of year. And I thought I'd share that with you guys before we jumped into the video. So today's video is going to be something that I thought would be timely and it has to do with the winter season. My hands, I don't know about you guys, but my hands get so dry this time of year. So before bed, I love to apply a little bit of hand cream. That way it can really penetrate into the skin while I'm sleeping and really work. So I thought it would be kind of fun to share with you guys my favorite hand creams. I have a bunch here. I have everything from the drugstore to higher end brands and everything in between. These are my favorites. It might seem excessive, but I've tested and tried a lot because of subscription service boxes or just things I've collected along the way. The first one I wanted to mention is one that I received a sample from Ulta when I did a purchase online years ago, and I fell so in love with it. It's the Ahava Active Dead Sea Minerals Mineral Hand Cream in the scent Water. I really like this one. It has a nice powdery scent to it. Very clean, very fresh, very natural. And it has three active ingredients that really do help combat that dryness. So the first one is going to be aloe vera, which is going to soothe any painful dry skin issues you may be dealing with. It also has witch hazel, which will smooth out any dryness. And then it has a word that I hope I pronounced correctly, elantoin. And this is supposed to heal any dry, patchy, crackiness in your skin. So I really love this hand cream. I love the brand Ahava. I am so glad that I discovered this through a sample and have fallen in love with it. So I highly recommend this one if you're looking for something that's going to not only hydrate your skin, and moisturize it, but it's going to heal it, it's going to smooth it, and it's going to soothe it. So definitely check out the Ahava line if you have not. This next hand cream is from Heathcote and Ivory. I've never heard of this brand before. I actually found this hand cream at TJ Maxx for like, I think it was $5.99, something like that. And I looked it up online. Apparently it's a UK based brand and this is their Nourishing Hand and Nail Cream and it is from their vintage collection with the rose scent. I thought the packaging was so cute. This does smell like roses. It has shea butter. It makes your fingers and your hands feel so smooth and soft. And I adore the fact that it is lightly scented with that rose scent. Also has vitamin E to soften the skin and it is very, very quick absorbing. This next hand cream is something that I actually picked up during the holiday season from Ulta. I think it's I think it's 5 for 10 or something like that. And this particular scent in Pleasant Plum is one of the, I believe, three or four scents offered. I really like it. It has a nice powdery kind of floral-like scent to it, almost berry-like. They also have a matching chapstick. This is the quickest absorbing hand cream I've ever tried. It's almost like a gel cream and your skin just drinks it up quickly. There's another one in the vanilla scent that I also like, and that's the one I always give to my husband. He loves that one, but I prefer the Pleasant Plum. And this is somewhere between $1 and $5. As the holiday season comes closer to an end, this tends to go more and more on sale. So depending on when you find it at your Ulta, it's still a very, very affordable product. And this is three fluid ounces. So for between $1 and $5, it's not bad at all. This next hand cream actually came in, I believe, a Glossy Box subscription service, and the brand is Toka. I looked, or Toka or Taka, I'm not sure. I looked it up. They actually sell this on the Sephora website, and this is a one fluid ounce sample size, but the full size retails for $20, and it's four ounces. This one is in the fragrance Cleopatra, which is scented with grapefruit and cucumber. The watery cucumber is so refreshing. I love the scent of anything with cucumber in it and the grapefruit is very soothing and relaxing as well. It's a very aromatic hand cream, but very, very lightly scented. It's subtle, and I think it's a great, great product. This one quickly absorbed into my hands as well, and the little packaging is very, very decadent. It reminds me of something very vintage. This next hand cream, surprisingly enough, is the only hand cream I own from Bath & Body Works because I own probably 50 Bath & Body Works candles, shower gels, and body lotions, but for some reason I don't have any hand creams from them, and this is the only one I've purchased, fallen in love with, and the one I will continue to repurchase, and it's the Bath & Body Works Japanese Cherry Blossom Nourishing Hand Cream. Again, very quickly absorbing, and I really highly adore the Japanese Cherry Blossom scent from Bath & Body Works. I have the Body Splash. It's just a terrific, soothing scent that isn't quite clean like a cottony scent but more like a floral scent but it's not overpowering I cannot take anything that's too overpowering and this one definitely isn't and this retails I believe for four or six dollars I'm not really sure I couldn't find it on the website right now but they definitely have a little line of hand creams and I highly recommend the scent of Japanese cherry blossom 
This next hand cream is from Antipodes. This is their Joyful Hand and Body Cream and it retails for $36, which is kind of pricey, but you are getting quite a bit of product for fluid ounces. It looks like the old fashioned toothpaste tubes. Really like that retro vintagey packaging. It's really cute. The scent is divine. They derive all of their ingredients from nature. It also has avocado and hibiscus flower. And again, no oily residue, very quick to absorb, smells incredible, and it's all natural. So if you're looking for something that is just nothing but natural, organic, derived straight from the plant, definitely check out the brand Antipodes. So these next two hand creams come from The Body Shop. These are great for stocking stuffers. I actually like to keep these in my purse because they are so quick absorbing. They're almost like a gel formula, so they aren't quite as thick. They smell great. They're subtly scented, but it kind of lingers while you're rubbing them into your hands. And my hands will drink these up like nobody's business. So I'll store them in my purse, and when the winter months come, I have them on hand, no pun intended, to work them into my skin so I can get rid of any of that dryness. And I love Shea, and then I also love the coconut butter. This next one is one I actually also picked up from TJ Maxx and it's Crabtree and Evelyn's Citron Honey and Coriander Ultra Moisturizing Hand Therapy. This is the smallest size they offer for $9. Their larger size I believe is $22 and then they have a pump style bottle that's I think $30. And this is actually their best selling scent. When I looked it up to find the price for you guys, I didn't even know it's such a popular popular product. I really like this one before bed because it gives me this nice relaxing, very soothing scent and it helps me to fall asleep so I love love this one and I've heard of this brand before I've always been a fan of the Crabtree and Evelyn soaps but I had never tried the hand cream until I picked it up at TJ Maxx so I highly recommend this one the yellow one citron honey and coriander scent and again this is an award-winning hand cream which really blew me away when I went to look up the prices for this video because I did not know I'm glad I picked this up for I think four dollars it's it retails for nine but I think I picked it up for four dollars at TJ Maxx and then I actually saved my favorite for last. It's the Love and Toast hand cream in the scent Paper Flower. What drew me to this line in the first place was the packaging. I just fell in love with the bright colors, the cute little drawings, they have little birds, little flowers, little cursive handwriting on it. It's just really cute packaging. And this scent Paper Flower is my favorite. I will literally put this guy on before bed and wake up, even wash my hands, and I will still smell this scent. I love it. And the best way to describe it was to actually just go on the website and pull it up for you guys. The underlying scents are water lily, dewberry, rose, and lang lang. I must love lang lang because I have found a lot of moisturizing body lotions and some perfumes have lang lang in it and I tend to like them. Don't know what lang lang smells like alone because it's always infused with some other product like rose or vanilla, but as far as it goes with this hand cream, it is my favorite. If you've never checked out Love and Toast, definitely check them out. They have body lotions, I believe they have perfumes now. It's a really fun skincare, body care brand. It doesn't say how many ounces this is, but I believe it's probably about one or one and a half ounces, and this retails for $9. The other great thing about this is that it is infused with green tea, which is also really good, not only for the body, but for the skin. So that's it, guys. That pretty much wraps it up. I thought it'd be fun to share with you my favorite hand creams. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope Hopefully you guys found it helpful in some way. Let me know if you have a favorite hand cream, whether it's from Bath & Body Works, from the drugstore, or even high end, because I'd love to check it out. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel, so I can see you guys in my next video. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, bye.